हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सीवी कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू सी दी बिल्डिंग एस्टीमेट बाय यूजिंग दी सेंटर लाइन मेथड राइट द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ड्रॉ दी सेंटर लाइन राइट फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट दी टोटल लाइन ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग राइट वी विल ड्रॉ दी सेंटर लाइन वट डू मीन बाई दी सेंटर लाइन सेंटर लाइन मीन्स वॉट इट इज दी सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस ऑफ अ वॉल राइट इज द सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस ऑफ वॉल राइट आई विल ड्रॉ दी सेंटर लाइन हियर I will draw the center line in a plan. You can see that uh, I just drawn the center line uh, in a building. Uh, or to find out the center line, I just have to uh, make the summation of all this center line. So uh, I will write here that the center line of building. Is equal to right. So I am going to teach the one easy method to find out the center line quickly. Right. So I just just uh, make the make the equation that is the summation of horizontal center line plus summation of vertical center line. What uh, what is H state that is summation of horizontal center line. What we state summation of which that this uh, summation of vertical center line, right? So, so we have to find out the summation of horizontal center line and summation of vertical center line. Okay. So we will calculate the center line of horizontal walls, right? So I will write here the. Horizontal center line. So we'll, first of all, we find out the center line H1, right? So you can see that there is a numbers of horizontal. We consider uh, this wall as a horizontal wall and this wall as a vertical wall, right? This wall or are the vertical walls. Okay. So first of all, I just calculate this distance. So how much it is? So you can see that this all are the similar walls. Okay. So now uh, to I just calculate the center line of this. I just say this wall H one. Okay. So this wall is of a point three. This all of point three. The half of point three that is point fifteen. Half of point three that is point fifteen. And into in distance is five meter. So H one will be my point fifteen plus five plus point fifteen. So my H one will be H one will be five point five point three meter. Right. So, how many numbers of wall? There is a one, two, and three. So, I multiply this with three. So, my total center line will be nine fifteen point nine meter, right? Uh, similarly, I have uh, another center line, uh, another horizontal wall that is uh, H two. I just name it H two. So, this is also point three. This is also point three. So, I will start from here. That uh, this distance is around four meter. That the into in distance that is this is four meter given at the bottom. Okay, and this is point three point three. So I just again point fifteen means the half of this distance plus four meter plus point fifteen. So my total distance will be four point three meter. How many numbers of wall of this same center line? There is a uh, two walls one and two. So I just multiply four point three by two. It will be eight point six meter. Okay, I just completed with the uh, <coughs> horizontal wall. So I just find out the summation of horizontal wall, which will be fifteen point nine plus eight point six. That is the total summation of horizontal line will be twenty four point five zero meter. Similarly, I will find out the horizontal wall. So first of all, find out the V one. So there is a two similar walls. So I just name it V one. And another, this is a V2. So uh, I just calculate the center line from top of the corner. You can see that this wall is of a 0.3 meter. So uh, as we going to half it, 0.3 by 2, so it will be 0.15. 0.15 plus into in dimension that is 6 meters, so plus 6. Then again 0.3, right? right? It is 0.3. We we are calculating all total, right? So we are at 0.3. Then again 6 meter. Then this uh, end wall means uh, we have to divide this by point two. There is a point fifteen. Okay, so total summation will be twelve point six meter, right? 
12.6 how many numbers of wall having the 12.6 meter center uh, to center distance there is a two walls the total distance will be uh, 25.2 meter a yeah, total distance is 25.2 meter then we calculate the center line of uh, v2 so v2 will be here 0 0.3 0 0.3 means half the uh, 0 0.3 the 0.15 Plus into in there is a 5.5 and again there is a 0.3 means 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 plus 5.5 plus 0 0.15 it will be like 5.5 uh, is a 5.8 meter. How many numbers of wall? There is only one wall because if this wall is considered only it remains that is this wall. So it is only 5.2 meter. Then we do the summation of vertical wall. The vertical wall will be 25. Point 25.2 plus 5.8 means around it will be like 30 meter right it will be like 30 meter it will be like 30, 11 means 31 meter okay so now we will find out the final center line is equal to summation of horizontal wall plus uh, summation of vertical wall summation of horizontal means 24.5 meter plus 30 one meter so we will do the summation that is the total center line will be 0 5 3 and 5 3 and 2 is a 5 55.50 meter okay now we found out the we have the center line so we start the calculating the quantities right first of all we find out the excavation in foundation so how much uh, we have to do the excavation for the foundation so excavation is a uh, we do the excavation of a width of a PCC right we need the, the width of a excavation so same as of a width of a PCC so we do the excavation of this width and we do the normally the, we do the excavation up to the ground level so this is the ground level so we will find out the first uh, quantity of excavation so we write down here the excavation in foundation right so excavation in foundation so we will uh, write down first the center line length is equal to right uh, uh, one of the more important thing is that uh, in the center line matter when we are finding down the length we have to detect the T junctions so there are how many T junctions there is a one this is the one T junction this is the two T junction uh, this is the third T junction, this is the fourth T junction, right? We have four T junctions, right? So, why we have to detect the T junction? So, I just uh, show you by drawing the figure, right? So, we calculate the center line, right? We just uh, calculate the center, we plus this length, so this area is covered. We again plus this length from this side, this area will be covered. But we just uh, we also the plus this length from this when we are calculating the t junction so this uh, width of this this area or this uh, length is repeated right so we have to deduct this much of center line right so uh, what is the deduction for the center line so length is equal to center line minus uh, width by two whatever the width uh, width by two into numbers of junctions right width by 2 into numbers of junction so we have to deduct this width and the numbers of junction right so so there are four numbers of junction we have there is four numbers of junction so we write down here center line minus width by 2 into numbers of junctions okay so we find out the length uh, the center line is equal to 55.5 as we found out here right 5.50 minus uh, width of uh, excavation that is uh, 100 centimeter which uh, it belongs to 1 meter so we are write down 1 here so 1 by 2 numbers of junctions are 4 so as you calculate this um, your length will be uh, around 53.5 um, meter right we go you got the length what is the width of excavation width of excavation as same as the width of a pcc so we will take the one meter and height is equal to we have to excavate up to ground level so 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 five times right 0 0.3 is a five times means there is around 1.5 meter so we find out here numbers one 
we found the length 53.5 we found the uh, width that is a uh, uh, 1 meter okay and the height of the excavation is 1.5 as you multiply you get the quantity of excavation that is 18.25 meter cube this is your quantity of excavation meter cube okay now we find out the second quantity there is a uh, pcc work in foundation work in a foundation so again we find out the length the center line is 55.5 minus uh, minus width by 2 means width is a uh, is uh, width of pcc is 1 meter divided by 2 number is are 4 so again we get the same center uh, length for the pcc as, as we width is the same width here 1 1 meter means uh, our center line will be same uh, width will be uh, again the width will be 1 meter and height will be uh, changed because height of PCC is a 0.3 meter height of PCC is a 0.3 meter so we write down here 0.3 meter so we found out the quantity that numbers 1 land is a 53.5 uh, width is a 1 meter and height is a 0.3 meter so you, you will get the quantity that is a 0 0.50 meter so this is the quantity of PCC then we calculate the third quantity third quantity uh, is that uh, brick machinery in foundation the brick machinery in foundation right so first of all we start with the step by step so we give the step uh, this is the step 1 this is step 2 then right? we give step 1 this is step 2 this is step 3 and this is step 4 so we calculate the step by step the step 1 right it is of uh, 70 centimeter thick right so we find out the length so length will be uh, length will be uh, center line that is 55.5 minus width by 2 width how uh, what is the width for 70 centimeter is 70 by 2 multiplied by numbers of junction so we will get the uh, you will get the width that is a 54.1 meter which is that is your length width is a 0.7 which is the uh, uh, first step that is a 0.7 and height is given that is a 0.3 right we got the quantities now we put here the 54.3 is the length width is a 0.7 and height is a 0.3 as you multiplied you get the quantity that is a 11.36 meter cube Again, we find out the we found out the second quantity that is a step number two. The width of the dash step that is 60 centimeter. Again, the length will be 55.5 minus 0 0.6 by 2 multiplied by numbers of four junction. There is a right 60 centimeter width. So we will get the length that is a 54.3 meter. Right. Then width will be 0 0.6 and height will be 0. 3. There is a width 0.6, height 0.3. What a step 2, right? So we write down here numbers 1, 54.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.3 is the height, and quantity will be 9.77 meter cube. Again, we do it for the step 3. This is of a uh, 50 centimeter width. So length will be 55.5. Sorry, right? Okay, I have to explain again, right? Uh, step number 3, right? 50 centimeter width. So, we write down the center line is a 55.5, width is a 0.5, right? Width is given, there is a 0.5. So, we have to minus 0.5 into V4, there is a 54.54.5, right? And the width is a 0.5. Now, in step 4, 40 centimeter up to GM is 55.5 and minus 0.4 uh, divided by 2. So, we will get the center line that is equal to length is equal to 54.7 meter so our width will be 0.4 and height will be 0.3 as given in this as given in the figure so numbers 1 54.7 0 0.4 0 0.3 quantity will be 6.56 so total uh, brick machine in foundation we have to make the total of this all quantity there is a 1 2 3 4 quantity that is around 35.80 Okay, this is your quantity. So, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel, Savvy Concept.